Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome in Comme d'Archi Podcast Season 3. Saison 3 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne-Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et And maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, good morning. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. It's good to meet you again in season 3 of Comme d'Archi, episode 43, with a text from the Archive French office about its housing project delivered in September 2021. Archive was founded in 2003. This architectural firm pays particular attention to the context, the truth of the materials and the precision of the execution. It is based in Montreuil and today has around 40 collaborators from a variety of cultural and professional backgrounds in architecture, urban planning and landscape design. Archive works on public facilities projects, private commissions and urban planning projects in France and abroad. Today, we take a look at the Jaurès Petit housing project located in Paris and just delivered. Reconversion of a block Located on a plot of land in the heart of a block occupied by a nine-story car park, the project comprises two operations of 75 housing units for sale and 74 social housing units. The project proposes to engage the project's actors, as well as the inhabitants, in a rational, visionary and sustainable approach to urban transformation. The project is guided by the harmony and balance between the new and old inhabitants of the site. The social housing building is built in a wooden structure, while the building for home ownership is built using the concrete structure of the building. Thanks to their specificities, both projects meet the overall challenge. The preliminary costs of demolition are completely reviewed. The new wood frame operation of the Jaurès housing offers a structure adapted to the specification of Paris habitats. The birth of a block. Beyond the quality of the new housing, the project is guided by the improvement of the pre-existing buildings, the harmony and the balance between the new and old inhabitants of the site. The implantation of the buildings, perpendicular to the head buildings, offers a maximum of visual openings. No facing buildings are created. The new dwellings are oriented east-west. Sliding shutters increase the privacy of the inhabitants, blurring the lateral views. Two large side passages allow for real greening of the site. Sunny and open, these gardens will be planted with tall trees. At the heart of the plot, a large crossing is now perceptible. It determines a new urban perception, a fluidity of space. The gardens of the two projects are created in continuity in a single vast garden. By preserving the traces of the existing building, the project links the district to the essence of its constitution. This peripheral district in the process of becoming residential was home to multiple activities that forge its urban structure. Totally rethought, but not erased, the heart of the block is transformed in continuity without rupture or denial. The wooden building on the Jaurès side has a visible wooden frame. It takes up the codes of the old building and its visible frame is reconverted into a balcony support. With a strong commitment to preservation and ecological construction of high environmental quality, the project brings to the site the ambition of a quality, ethical and sustainable architecture. Treatment of the garden In spatial continuity, the gardens are delimited in the center of the plot. The pedestrian paths also serve as a scale path and run alongside the buildings on the entire plot. Doing as much as possible with as little as possible against, as Gilles Clément puts it. Dense and continuous for the pathway, the garden is scattered around the planted areas. 
This management method, developed from the Garden of La Vallée, then theorized and extended to all spaces and all scales, has been exported to cities in France and abroad. We want to leave the garden as spontaneous as possible once the planting is done. Trees punctuate the wide open spaces with rather light foliage chosen for their flowering, the annual signal of renewal. Architecture adapted to the material. With a thickness of 13 meters and grids of 6 meters, the building is designed for a wooden construction. In timber construction, we prefer to avoid waterproofing up stands or any other structure likely to leak. Waterproofed terraces are avoided in favor of attached balconies. The roofs are covered with zinc and the building overhangs are superimposed. The new block, the wood construction. One cubic meter of new wood means one ton less of CO2 in the atmosphere. Wooden construction favors the use of renewable energy, reduces energy consumption and favors the use of biosourced materials. Wood and its dry process also allow for a drastic reduction in construction site pollution. This is a real asset in a particularly dense and difficult to access urban site such as this one. And the site being occupied makes the advantages of this material unavoidable. Wood brings environmental qualities to the building in a passive way while giving it a warm and enhancing identity. This desire to highlight the material wood is also found at the heart of the housing in which we have chosen to leave the CLT visible in the dry rooms as a manifesto. Thus, the social housing proposed is generous, of quality, balconies, double exposure, etc., and offers an image that is both ecological and modern. Dear listeners, thank you for tuning in. Let's meet again next week for a new Kamdashi in English. And until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Thanks to Julien Robourg, sound engineer, who is collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcasts or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself.